Hi ladies and any fabulous gentlemen who are watching my channel. So today's video is going to be an unboxing of a cause box. So I am absolutely obsessed with these like subscription boxes and not just necessarily with beauty items but pretty much anything and I think it's just the surprise of getting something new. It's kind of like a surprise. It's like a birthday present or it just it's like a gift. Getting a gift and stuff that you wouldn't necessarily purchase for yourself and trying out new products, new vendors and new different things. It just is really really exciting. And plus just coming home, you know, after a long days of work and finding something like this in my mailbox just makes me super super happy. So, I have never purchased this is my first unboxing this group. So, let's go ahead and get into it. So this is what the box looks like inside, super cute design in here and it as always has little pamphlets and stuff like that. So um, it does have, again this is just strictly coming out, it says good news, this is the summer 2018 box. I know that I didn't get the first round and so they were doing another round and then that was delayed because some of the products weren't in there and we'll go through that in a second. But um, it kind of goes through and it talks about um, from the editor-in-chief, it looks like a little letter here. The Summer Cause Box was created to inspire you to soak up every ounce of the summer season. We've gone above and beyond to source the most sustainable and ethical products committed to making the world a better place and to equip you with everything you need to indulge in these upcoming months. Um, like I mentioned, there is a product that did not get shipped out in time, so instead of delaying the whole shipment, they went ahead and shipped out all the other products and they are saying that the kimono, which is supposed to be in there, is on the way. Um, one thing that I will say is I had to actually contact them or actually go on the website to try to figure out what was going on with the box. They did send me an email saying that there was a delay um, and that they were hoping to send out soon. And then I never heard anything back from it. And I, I don't know. I mean, it could have been a, probably a week later. I was like, huh, it's weird. I still haven't gotten an email. So I went um, on their Instagram, didn't see any like notices or anything on the Instagram, which is where I originally had gotten the idea to do this box. And so I ended up going on their website and it did say that they, this person had, a, or this company had an emergency in the family and that one of the products was being delayed. Um, so they did send out an apology letter just saying that they could have done a better job communicating. Um, it is what it is. I mean, companies make mistakes. I'm not going to hold it to them. It's not something that I needed right away, but you know, it's just a lesson learned of, hey, communication goes a long way. And um, the first time that they communicated that there was going to be a delay, they did give an option of opting out and having your, your money refunded. Um, but then there was just nothing after that. And so they, they could have done a better job communicating, but they, they admitted that and said that they would work on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep this here. And just open up. So the first thing is the sensual, sens sensuals, uh, natural and organic skincare. So this is the organic Moroccan argan oil. So this argan oil can be used as a face moisturizer, leave-in hair treatment, or cuticle conditioner. It can also create hair styling, shame, uh, shine, and tame frizz. So again, it just gives a little overview of the company and stuff like that. So it's definitely, um, I am a Josie Maron like argan oil freak. Um, I do use it very rare, regularly with my cuticle oils or cuticles and stuff like that. So I feel almost like I'm cheating on Josie Maron. So it doesn't have any scent or anything like that and you know it feels like argan oil. I don't know what the difference is, um, I'd have to read up a little bit more on it but definitely is something that I could um, use and will use and, and something that I can see myself using in the future. The next thing is Zoya nail polish. So it does have three different colors, I'll be honest with you, I'm not particularly in love with the colors. Um, this pinky one or whatever is super super fun for the summer. I do see myself wearing something like this. It almost has, it reminds me of kind of like Poppy. It's called Sonia. So very very cute. Um, and I understand that they have to have nudes and stuff like that but this is just an ugly color. Like it just, it's just ugly. It's called Jack. Um, this other one is just plain white. This is called Purity, so overall not horribly disappointed. Um, and you do get 50% off 
your purchase at Zoya with this code. So 50% off, it looks, I mean, it doesn't say entire purchase, but it says your purchase, so I'm assuming it's my entire purchase and that's a pretty good deal. So super happy about that. Next is this little Kibia thing. So it sounds like a necklace. Okay, so it's just a long string and it's got little oh, oh, tassels at the end, the little baggies. It's very, very delicate feeling, not cheap feeling, um, but delicate, like I, I'm afraid I'm gonna break it. So I guess you can just kind of do it maybe like this, choke myself. I mean, what the heck, right? Okay. I mean, obviously, I'm gonna have to play with it. I'm sure there's a variety of different ways that you can use it, but it's comfortable and it's cute and it's got those little tassel things. So, yeah, interesting. Okay, that's nice. Next thing, oh wow. So, they provided me with four, or in the box, there's four. I don't know how to say this brand, Karuna. So this is the exfoliating and face mask. Um, let's see, it says it's natural fiber sheet. It has pineapple enzymes to remove dead skin to improve texture. So it's paraben free, dye free, mineral free, dermatologist tested. So four of those bad boys, definitely, definitely cool and something that I will definitely use. The next thing is this RPF Candle Co. This is a reed diffuser. It's made in the United States. This one is number 21 Golden Coast. So it just looks like this right here. Very, very plain looking. I mean, the packaging itself, it kind of has that very industrial look. It reminds me of like the old medicine bottles or whatever that I see. Um, and I've actually found a couple in the antique, like when I'm antiquing and I should have grabbed them because they're just really, really cool. But it's got that like brown bottom bottle medicine thing. So let's see what it smells like. Hmm. It smells good. Let me see what it smells. I'm so bad at describing smells. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, it smells like lemon. And they're like, no, it's, you know, lavender. And I'm like, what? The diffuser in your cause box is really nice. Ever since we had our baby, we don't have as many open flames around. It's really powerful how scent can impact your mood, but also trigger memories. So when I wear perfume, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so it doesn't say... It doesn't have like a description of what it is. <laughs> it's on the bottle. No, it's not on the bottle. It's called Golden Coast. I don't know. It smells musky a little bit. It's definitely got some kind, <laughs> it's got some kind of scent to it. Some kind of herb. Maybe a little bit of citrus. I'm so bad. It smells good. It smells clean. It's not overpowering. I definitely like the scent of it. I wouldn't mind having a candle in it. It's not something that I would necessarily gravitate if somebody maybe described it to me, but it does have a good scent to it. <laughs> but I don't know what it smells like. I'm so bad. So here is a postcard that kind of matches their box, kind of a retro -y, kind of reminds me of the 70s kind of thing, of 60s or 70s. And then here is the Turkish towel. So this is made out of 100% organic cotton and it is made in Turkey. And this is by Fair Sea Supply Code. And it feels horrible. <laughs> I don't understand Turkish towel. I mean, I, I, I don't know if they like beat up more. I mean, it's not as bad. It's just not soft. Like, I feel like it's very linen-y feeling and not smooth. Um, kind of like those tea towels or whatever. Like, I every time I'm in the store, I'm like, ugh. I don't see myself ever using this. I'll be completely honest with you. It's something different. It's something new. Um, it does have little tassels in it. The yellow color, it's just faded yellow. I mean, some people are into this. This is just not my thing personally, but it does make a pretty good gift idea. So I will definitely be using, keeping this and putting it in some kind of gift. So that is everything in the box. Like I said, it does have the kimono and I think that's what attracted me to it because I did really want the kimono. So hopefully they do come through and they get everything fixed and they're able to send that out. But overall, just a variety of different things. I like that it's not necessarily all makeup. Um, I like that there are some house stuff and everything um, and brands that I just never would have known if I hadn't had 
gotten this box. So I overall am happy with it, but hopefully enjoyed it. If you have purchased from or have boxes like this, let me know your thoughts. What are, what are you liking? That kind of thing. And um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Until next time, bye.